With a documentary that came out in 2018 and a biopic, which was released the next year, there's been a lot of attention on Fred Rogers in the past few years. I think that a major reason for this is with the recent turmoil in the world, a lot of people have been looking for the common consistency he brought to many of our childhoods. In revisiting his work as adults, um, a lot of people whose primary uh, familiarity with him was through watching his show as children have gained a new perspective on the depth and importance of his work. Mr. Rogers had a kind, uh, slow and gentle mannerisms, and from an adult perspective, it can be easy to see him as just a sweet man who uh, made another educational show for children. However, this misses something vital about who Fred Rogers was and what his show brought to generations of children. He introduced ways for children and adults to talk about uh, issues like uh, racism, divorce, and violence. Using the philosophy of his mentor, Margaret McFarland, um, who believed that anything mentionable is manageable, Fred Rogers showed children ways to talk about their emotions, both about these serious subjects and in their everyday lives. One famous scene from his show uh, has Mr. Rogers inviting his neighbor, Officer Clemens, to soak his feet with him in a kiddie pool on a hot summer day. Uh, if you're not, uh, if you haven't heard of this scene before, um, it probably doesn't sound very notable. However, Officer Clemens, who was played by Francois Clemens, was black, and this episode originally aired in 1969 when there was a lot of racial tension and social unrest and a lot of white people were very angry about the end of legal segregation. In relating this story in the documentary, Won't You Be My Neighbor, Clemens said they didn't want black people to swim with them and Fred said that is absolutely ridiculous. Mr. Rogers didn't just uh, tell us to love our neighbors, he showed how to do so defiantly. Um, while his work on social issues, uh, the importance of his work on social issues uh, cannot be overstated, I think that the reason why Mr. Rogers resonates so deeply with so many can be summed up by one of his most famous lines, I like you just the way you are. While watching his show, even after understanding that the people on the TV couldn't see the audience the way the audience could see them, Children really felt like he meant it when he said that each of them was special. From every account I've heard or read of Fred Rogers, this is because he genuinely did. This um, love and acceptance of every child for exactly who they were was as radical as anything else he did with his show. He taught generations of children trust and compassion, both for themselves and for others. The impact that Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood had on society goes beyond that of a typical educational television show. While it did have segments on uh, things, topics like how uh, everyday objects were made, the real impact came from the emotional education it provided. Fred Rogers saw the potential of television to teach children at their own pace. He used his show to um, deal with social and emotional issues, and um, he created a kinder world with his influence.